Hello YouTube, I am iMovies1, or Tom, and today we've got another Transformers view. This is our Transformers Reveal the Shield Bumblebee. Um, it's deluxe, obviously, but he's a little small, but he's meant to be Bumblebee. He was originally a mini bot in the toy, and he wasn't. He was quite a lot smaller than everyone else in the show, so it fits. But you are paying twelve quid. I mean, to be honest, isn't too much bigger than a scout in vehicle. I've seen scouts get to near this. Some, obviously, some. I'm getting off topic. Um, so yeah, he is a tiny little sports car, as he should be. I'm not going into it. Um, yeah, and he, he he looks really cool. He's a weird sort of yellow, yellowy orange. Um, camera's making it look a tiny bit more orange, but it's pretty orange. But it fits some somehow somehow. It works. It shouldn't, but it does. And yes, yeah, yeah, he's quite nicely painted. Black stripes. They're a reference to some comic book that I haven't read. Not, they're not a reference to the movie. Um, if you look at the bottom, you get a lot of flat. And you get a couple of arms. Not much. Inside. They've had an attempt at making an interior, they're giving them seats. To actually just make some nice uh, armour. You can take this off, I'm not going... Sorry. You can take the spoiler off, I'm not going to. Some people like it. I I don't mind it on, it's fine. Um, it is nice that the wheels have been painted. Though, you should expect it, but we don't because... Well, has for a cheap. Um... And we've got translucent lights at the front, red at the back. Tiny little grill. I wish this grill down here had been painted too. Because it would have broken up a bit and that looks a bit pathetic. We've also, I, I'd have liked. Hmm. I know, it seems like the side, there's no paint at all other than the wheels. And the, uh, things. I do like they've given them translucent back windows. It looks like it. And he's also got a translucent back window, which is really rare. You get a little glimpse of the back of Bumblebee's head in there. And yes, you get a trailer hitch. Or a tow bar, or whatever. And you get this. It's a little trailer with a jet ski. You have a little hole in the front. Clips onto there. You can drive around with it. It turns, obviously, and it rolls quite well. So is Bumblebee. The only thing is, because of how this transforms, it does like to come apart. So if you put it too hard, hard one way, or you do that, it will just come off apart. So put that off to the side for now. Bumblebee. Now I don't know if I'm transforming him wrong or it's just him. Is he's quite hard to get back completely flush. Um, you can get him to look good, but to get everything so there's the seams are perfect. It's quite difficult. So yeah, to transform him. First of all, like all good bumblebee figures, all good bumblebees. doors. The first thing is to move. So you just want to pull apart and down, and just get him out of the way for a minute. And you want to take the wheel here, and you want to flip it in, and that'll bring the arm out. Exactly the same on the other side. Now, I personally like to deal with the legs first, and these later. So, what you want to do is just want to break these open. We don't break them, but yeah. Then they rotate down, split apart. Um, actually, if you rotate them forward a little bit. Fold these seats down, and when you fold the knees flat, the fronts of the seats should go just behind. It's a bit hard to show. So the front of the seats should go just behind, and that gives him a proper look, I suppose. 
Nice and I'm going to take the whole of this section. Let's try the hitch the back. Surprisingly messy for a simple transformation. Yeah, you get that? Take this thing forward. And it should be a tiny little clip in place. Good thing is you can leave the head revealed to last, so you just want to strain up the arms. And now, to deal with these, I'm going to bring them to the, sort of the outside of the arm, rotate, and then there'll be a tiny little peg, a tiny little hole, that you just peg in, and that holds the door in place. Last but not least, you go back here, put out this platformy thing, put it forward, pull his head forward, there you go, there is Bumblebee in ball mode. One good thing about this, he looks like Bumblebee. He, he really does. Oh. He looks like an updated version of Bumblebee, which is what these lines should do. You know, like, um, all, all of them are done really have just updated them slightly. So you now he's got these feet, but the legs are still bulky. You know, they're not tiny little spindly legs that fold up in, into them. Um, windshield chest, uh, back is most of the car, which tends to be, uh, tends to run in a lot, a few bumpies, I think. Uh, doors on the arms, looks really good. And he's small. And obviously, a lot of orange, nice silver face. Blue eyes, not like pipes, but I don't mind. Um, obviously, all that logo on the front. This rub symbol actually works really well. I don't know how well you can see that. It's definitely an Autobot. Um, see, about the paint, I really like the little bits of blue up here. I don't know why they're there, but they break it up a bit and it's quite nice. Um, and obviously, the rest of them is just the same as the car. But I do like these little silver bits down here. Which are the seats. Um, also, the trailer hitch fills out the back of it. Which is quite, quite a cool idea. So, things wrong with this. One, the fact that the windshield goes there as you can see through it really easily and how thin and hollow he is. Um, or if that was painted it wouldn't look as bad. Well it looks good but it wouldn't look as hollow. Um, there aren't many. Uh, the main one I think is the shoulders. The fact that there's no clip for when you rotate the shoulders around from the inside. They quite easily do that. But I suppose it does give another point of articulation. You know, that means he can bring his arms around to the front. And get some good punching, actually. Actually, I've turned that gripe into a phrase. I really like that now, because it reminds me... Reminds me a lot of this guy. With his shoulders. Yeah, do that. Yes, yeah, so, um, that's really it. So, it's also the back of the feet is pretty hollow. But, I suppose getting to artic artic articulation. So, head's done a ball joint, it's gonna go right up, right down. Um, so, yeah, you can move the arms. The shoulder, so you can go forward. It has a ball jointed shoulder, ball jointed elbow, uh, swivel wrist. Um, so yeah, you can get some good cross punches. Um, 
um, the legs are on a ball joint, or hip, sorry. Swivel knee, knee bends, uh, and you can move those. Um, when you're standing this guy up, stand him with his legs slightly apart because then he gets the flat of them. But you can, if you really want to, you can take his legs back together ish. Yeah. And you can have a roll. An entire little skate. And he rolls pretty well like this actually, too, which is quite funny. So basically, Bumblebee is, is the movie size quite. Um, yeah, he's really cool. So, now we've gone over him, his gimmick. It's quite odd that something the meant to go on C gives him the ability to go into the air. That's just me, I find that weird. So, you pull these apart, and you string them up. And I think that. Oh, yeah, and to rotate these around. I think that's it. Now, all you do is you take that hole there between the top of this and the bottom of this and put it over his back so it clicks. Oh no, I did do something wrong. You want to rotate the jet ski. And now clip it in place. So now gives the ability to move these how you want. So you can have a little jetpack, which I believe is from uh, Dinobot Island, don't quote me on that, I haven't seen the episode, two episodes, I haven't seen series two, I will, at some point, in the far future, probably. The minute I'm watching a lot of Japanese shows and I'm depriving myself of the one thing I like the most. I'm getting off topic. Oh yeah, Bumblebee. Right, so yeah, get another jet pack. Yeah. I supp suppose if I'd seen the episode that it's in, I liked it, I probably would keep it on him. But I haven't seen it, so I don't display him with that. The good thing is it folds up pretty small. So, yeah. so size comparison, seeing as I've gone on for 13 minutes about a toy this small. Actually, I've probably gone. That's why it's so long. So, the normal size comparison with Wolf of Cybertron, which is the Optimus is quite a bit bigger. Although Bumblebee's pretty bulky. And I suppose, because it's Bumblebee, we'll have a little size comparison with his previous self. Or for Savage and Bumblebee, they are almost exactly the same height. The head sculpts are almost exactly the same. This one actually looks younger, which is really good because these look like it's an evolution. Although he has gotten slightly shorter, he looks like he's gotten older. You see on the back, most of the back of the car. The feet got the wheels, the arms have got the sides of the cars, and the chests at the front. So, in that regard, they're exactly the same. The head sculpt of him looks like a very young Bumblebee. The head sculpt of him looks a bit older. I love this. This is amazing that they've done this. I love the idea that this is him in Cybertron. This is him now. 
and it really is so yeah so buy him he's really cheap at the minute I actually prefer this one over the original the generations one the generations classics but get yeah, either this one's cheap at the minute and this one's still in stock I think I got him for Kapow Toys as so I got most of mine from I wasn't paid to say that so um quick warning for future I am uh, 18 episodes into Kazuka Sentai Gokaijo, loving it, and probably going to be spending a lot of money on it. The minute I've got my eye on the SH Figure Arts Blue, Gokai Blue, awesome. So, if I do spend a lot of money on them, it's going to be most of my channel. Yeah, and then after that, I'm going to be watching Kamen Rider Double, and then Ryuki, and then. The only one that I planned out at the minute. And then Go Busters whenever the season's up on the internet. Word of Money, Super Sentai, and Car Rider. So, as a bit of a warning, if none of you like that, you won't want to watch those videos. Um, I will be posting some Transformers as well. I am running out of Transformers to review, which is quite a saddening thought actually. Um, I have my movie ones which will survive me I suppose and I still have one in the post which hasn't got here I've gone 16 minutes talking about Bumblebee I should really come for YouTube now so yeah um I will do some more reviews and watch more Gokaija nearly finished buffering <laughs>